from Toronto, Canada, this is Canadian Jewish Television. Let's not waste any time. Let's get into, you know, to Judaism. It's why I'm here. You know, I'm hosting Canada's only Jewish talk show on television, and it's a tremendous honor for me. I come here today because you're one of the people who has spent so much of your life, spent so much of your life championing Jewish values and to fight anti-Semitism. Yet how hard you work, still it creeps up its ugly head. It's been very disturbing in the last six months, as you probably know, the last year. And I come to you today with the same question that I ask many of my guests, what we can do as Jewish people to combat this, what we need to do, how we need to behave individually, and how we need to behave collectively. Well, before you can solve a problem, you first have to recognize that there is a problem. So the you know Jew hatred has always been around in the world and not only in Europe but right here in Canada but it has it has it has stopped this being disguising itself in the when they were in the last couple of years but I've for at least 20 years now I have been going on at every opportunity whether you know through speeches or pieces I've written drawing the attention of people to the fact that there is a no, there is a uh, there is incitement to Jew hatred right here in Canada in Toronto in Montreal across the whole country and it it disguises itself as 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 as, as, as anti-zionism but in fact has nothing to do with zionism it has to do with Jews in the first half of the 20th century Jews were relegated to second class citizens the few allowed into Canada's immigrants faced systemic discrimination. Businesses refused to hire them, universities restricted their enrollment, and entire neighborhoods prohibited the sale or rental of housing to Jews. Across Canada, local political leaders were vocal about their prejudice. They spread violent propaganda against Jewish people, turning decades of intolerance into hate. In Toronto, young Anglo-Canadians formed swastika clubs and embraced the Nazi symbol. One that was impossible to separate from the atrocities perpetrated against the Jews of Europe. In protest against Hitlerism, Jews took to the streets. They were joined by laborers, union representatives, and left-wing political groups. Motivated by different causes, they stood united against fascism. Thousands protested, but swastika clubs continued to incite hostility against Toronto's Jews. No laws prevented this, and so clashes regularly broke out between the two groups. That was the backdrop to August 16th, 1933, as Christy Pitt seemed ready to explode. At the Ball Diamond, Fights erupt in the stands. Supporters of the predominantly Jewish Harvard playground baseball team, members of the Swastika Club, and other Anglo-Canadians trade punches. Police have difficulty breaking up the fights. As the game ends, a homemade Swastika flag is unfurled on the slope next to the ball diamond. The Swastika! The Swastika! Hail Hitler! Hail Hitler! It's the spark that ignites all tensions. The swastika came at the end of the ball game. All hell broke loose. When this race riot broke out, it really broke out. All I saw was people getting hit. The bats all disappeared. We had 15 bats and they were all gone. The riot quickly spills out of the ballpark. Truckloads, truckloads from Spadina Avenue came up. Now there were some tough guys down there. Reinforcements arrived to support both sides. Italians and other immigrants persecuted by the Anglo majority fight alongside the Jews. Violence explodes across the night. For six long hours, thousands of people fill the streets of Toronto, with Jews, Italians, and others taking a stand against racist ideas of what it means to be Canadian. After the unprecedented violence, Mayor William James Stewart promises to prosecute future displays of the swastika. It's a small victory, paid for with black eyes 
and broken bones. The Christie Pitts Riot remains one of the worst outbreaks of ethnic violence in Canadian history. The Jews and Italians who took to the streets that hot summer night in 1933 fought for the Canada we live in today. One that recognizes multiculturalism as a strength. That struggle continues to be our responsibility as hate crimes against Jews are still widespread across Canada. From Toronto, Canada, this is Canadian Jewish Television.